When the attack was reported last week, it seemed believable. The Jewish owner of a Winnipeg cafe physically attacked her family's business, trashed and painted in anti-Semitic graffiti. It shocked the community and led to an outpouring of support, exactly the way you'd expect. But then, today, it all got turned upside down. Police say the cafe owners staged the whole thing and have charged them with a crime. As Cameron McIntosh tells us, even as the family sticks by its story, the community is in shock once again. Did you fake the vandalism we around this We didn't. Point? We didn't. Because we don't joke about swastika on our walls. They flatly deny it, insisting they are in fact victims of hate. Oksana Berendt and her son Maxim explaining themselves on CBC Radio just after being charged along with Oksana's husband hours before for public mischief. In this moment, somebody grabbed me. She insists on last Thursday night she was alone inside her Winnipeg cafe when she was attacked. The cafe was also robbed and vandalized with anti-Semitic graffiti. The story caused an outpouring of sympathy and defiant denouncements of hate until today. In the end, we found evidence of a crime. It just wasn't a hate crime. I am hugely disappointed and frankly angry that this family has used hate and racism in such a disingenuous way. It's not something that we do. It's against our Jewish law. It's against our, 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 our beliefs. They can find any evidence against anybody.